Good morning and okay to my channel everyone. This is Sakura. I'm gonna be doing a special vlog for you today where I'll be taking you to Google office in Shibuya where I've worked the last two and a half years. The reason why I'm doing this vlog is because it's actually one of my last days here before I move on to an external opportunity. So I just wanted to show you what my day looks like, what the office looks like, um, and all that. So I'm actually quite excited to go into office today. But you know, right now the office is open voluntarily, meaning that there's no mandatory work from office role at the moment. But for those who want to come in and work, we are open to a limited capacity. And I have been working from home for the last one and a half years and I've gone to office once last week and then this will be my second time going. But uh, both times we have had such beautiful weather throughout the week and then just the time that I go into office, it always looks like this. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I just have to motivate myself to get out of my house and go. So I'm just going to quickly put on my makeup, do my hair and get ready and then we'll start from there.
back. I'm kind of in between meetings right now and thought I would just take a moment to reflect on my two and a half years here. It's definitely bittersweet, you know, seeing the beautiful office. I also ran into some of my colleagues that I haven't seen for like two years today, just seeing their faces, remembering, you know, how much I, I love the people here and, and how much I respect them. It's just kind of a hard, you know, decision that I knew I had to make. But at the, at the same time, I feel like it was the best decision for myself to leave for this external opportunity. So while it's really hard, it also feels like validation that this was the right choice for me. So, you know, I have a little bit of time before my next meeting, but I just wanted to take a couple minutes to reflect and share with you some of the things that I learned actually working here, not in terms of skill set, but just some takeaways about life, I suppose, um, and work. So the first thing that I learned working here is that your value and worth as a human being should not be or does not have to be tied to your title or the company that you work for. And I know that sounds really straightforward, but I really didn't realize this until I actually decided to leave Google. You know, I had so many people around me, like my parents who are so proud of me that I work here, my friends, you know, my family, everybody, you know, externally affirming you that, wow, you work at such an amazing company, it must be the most amazing job, amazing parent experience and things like that. And while that is a part of it, you know, you can definitely be proud of the company that you work for if you believe in their values and in their mission. At the same time, I really feel like I got too deep into tying that to my self-worth or getting that validation to help my self-worth, right? So everything that I did for this company, my contributions, or everything that went well, I felt really proud of myself and happy to be myself. But whenever things went wrong or things didn't go the way that I wanted to, I felt like such a failure and such a failure, not only in my work, but as a person. And I couldn't figure out for the longest time why. And my realization was that, again, I tied my self-worth to my work and I don't think that's a healthy boundary to have. So I know that working for an amazing company such as this definitely has its pros, but I think it's a really good idea if you do work for a great company that you don't get just blinded by the fact that the name is recognizable or the benefits are great or whatever it is. You really have to be sure of who you are and what your values are because ultimately that's what's gonna determine what you're worth to yourself um, and your own value, right? So work does not equate your worth or your you know, contributions as a human being. Work is just work. That's my first observation. The second thing that I learned is, <laughs> I know this is gonna sound really cynical, but I promise it's not that negative. Uh, don't die for a job that's gonna replace you in a week, right? <laughs> and I don't say this in a, in a sad way, right? Like I don't feel like I was super overworked or anything like that, but no matter if I was struggling or not, whether it's emotionally, mentally, physically, I really, really forced myself and pushed myself to still be at 100% while I worked because, again, tying to the first part of my experience, I really you know, thought that the work that I contribute to the company is something that's going to be really positively reflected on in the future, whether it's in my performance or just me as a human being, right? But what I realized was you cannot, you absolutely should not and cannot um, sacrifice your own health um, for a company. Because at the end of the day, a company is just a company. You are part of a cog in a machine. And I don't mean that in a negative way. It just means you're part of something bigger than yourself. And you have to be your number one fan. You have to advocate for you because no one else is going to do that for you. Does that mean that people aren't going to be supportive? No, absolutely not. I've had amazing mentors, amazing managers, amazing colleagues who supported me and helped me throughout the way, throughout the, the years that I've been here. But at the end of the day, this is who I'm stuck with, it's myself. And this is who's gonna get me to the next level in my career. This is the person who's going to build a life outside of work, build a family and do all these other things that I want to do. So you have to look out for yourself and prioritize yourself, even though that means you know sacrificing other things sometimes. So again, it seems like pretty straightforward, um, but be your own number one fan and be your own number one advocate, because at the end of the day, that's what's most important. Um, that you can provide the best life for yourself as well as maybe your loved ones like your family, right? That you can do that by working at a company. The final thing that I wanted to share is work can just be work. <laughs> and I know you heard me, but I'm going to say it again. Work can just be work. And I'm saying this because I feel like in this generation, 
we talk a lot about how work should be our passion and work should be you know not feel like work because if you do something you love you never work a day in your life haha <laughs> but this is absolutely not true and also not realistic i don't know where this idea came from um, and i do think that the intent of it is really positive you know we, we all want to do something that's meaningful to ourselves so that we can make an impact on our life the people around us and the company that we're working for right so the intent of it is very good however this is not true for the majority of us because work is usually a means to an end. It's getting a salary, getting um, you know skill sets that you can take away to improve your own life and your own loved one's life if you take care of people around you. You know, so I want to share you a story. When I first joined two and a half years ago, we had this orientation and we had a chat with executives where we could ask them pretty much any question um, to some leaders in our organization. So me being the really bright-eyed nuclear, I asked them like, what what makes you excited to get up in the morning for your work? Like what is so meaningful in your day-to-day -day work that makes you come in on a daily basis? And I was really expecting some kind of like grandeur answer saying like, oh, this is so inspirational to me. Like the people around me inspire every day. Like, you know, my, my work is my life. You know, this kind of inspirational thing where they have some kind of crazy story about how like work is everything to them and how they're so excited about it. But two out of the three people uh, actually gave me a very straightforward answer, which was like, well, my job is fulfilling in the sense that I like it. And I come to work every day, I suppose, because it's, it's work. <laughs> and at the time, I was really disappointed. I was like, how can you say that? You're a Google executive. Like you, you need to be excited about your job. You need to have a vision. You need to have passion. And to an extent, I do think that's true. But actually, I think there should be a healthy level like them where you kind of acknowledge like, yes, this is my work. Yes, I can be passionate about it, but it's not everything. So now that I'm a few years older and a few years wiser, I do feel now more than ever that that's so true. And we shouldn't lie about it. We shouldn't pretend like work is the most fun thing in the world or that it's the most important thing in the world because for most of us, it actually isn't. Maintaining our health and our life and our happiness to yourself as well as those around us, I think should be, at least, no, sorry, not should be, but is my personal number one priority. So that's when I learned, oh, work can just be work. It doesn't have to be my everything and my number one passion in my life. So I don't know if you needed to hear that, but if you did, there you go. Uh, if you have work that you do feel passionate about, that you feel like you would sacrifice anything for and that you really feel good about what you're doing, I think that's absolutely amazing. And I really admire you for finding that because for a lot of us, we're not lucky enough to find that yet. <laughs> or maybe I just need to work a little bit harder. So at the end of the day, I just want to say, Thank you very much, Google, for the amazing opportunity to work in this beautiful office with great colleagues. And yes, if you are interested in working in this company, I can confirm it's great. I loved it here. But right now, I have to focus on what's best for myself. And taking this opportunity externally was the best thing that was for me in my career and my work-life balance. So I'm really excited for what's coming. And if you're interested in learning about, you know, what I did at Google or my experience here as well as why I left, happy to make a video about it. So leave me, you know, a comment below if that's something that you'd be interested in watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to follow me and I'll see you later. Bye.